I just walked in the door and Jake said, it's good you're here because, so you could record if this kills me. I mean, if it's gonna explode, then we might as well get it on camera. That's my thinking. It's pretty, pretty important. I'll step actually. back. Um, so this is a 1920s battery charger. It has this really old rectifier bulb. Ooh, rectum. Okay, I definitely didn't say rectum, but... <laughs> <laughs> that just made me think of someone sitting on that bulb. Anyway, we're getting way, way off base here. Um, my neighbor Terry was like, don't plug that thing in. Yeah. Terry said, "Oh no, my neighbor who plays with maybe liquid you mercury. shouldn't plug it into the computer that you like." Now, yeah, <laughs> anyway, he said, "If you are, just plug it in and stand back, you know, because the worst thing that could happen is the bulb will pop or something." It has a fuse. It's hundred years old, but you know that would probably also pop. So could it I catch on fire? No, it's gonna be fine. I'm really just like. Can you wear some gloves? No. And in the gloves. Oh, nothing happened. So it's not turned on yet. Oh. But this bulb might need to warm up. But it also could just not work, so. Oh. It freaking works! Don't, don't step on the wiring just because it's very fragile and it might cross over and explode. So just what kidding. does this do? This is a battery charger. Okay, so because the faceplate is like pretty beat up, I actually don't know what voltage is putting out. So this is perfect because now I can hook it up to the leads and see if I'm getting what kind of volt rating I'm getting. So this is hot. Stay. That was very anticlimactic. Was it? Yeah. Could have killed us all. It like just turned on so beautifully. I think that is the right kind of climax. <laughs> Getting turned on beautifully. Heck yeah. Oh my god. Oh wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. What is the point of this thing? It's like, I want you to come up. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh. Okay, so. Something you just did turned it off. I didn't, I didn't even. See this, this is just exposed wire. Mind you. See. Okay. It's actually not reading. That's bolts. Oh, DC. I don't know, it, I think it's, if it's a battery charger, it should be putting out DC volts, but. It's reading volts AC. Okay, right there, it's putting out 5.4 volts. 5.5 volts. We're gonna crank this puppy up and see what it can do. So I turn the knob a little bit. That just took. One up point four. Let's go halfway on this dial. Mm, that went down. <laughs> Maybe it's the way that wire is. See, and there's nothing drawing power from it. Does it start out on maximum voltage and then go Maybe. down? It says turn this to raise. I don't really consider it. Okay, so it appears that it's putting out anywhere from five to six. Five to six volts. So again, that's cranked down and that's at five and a half. This is amazing. This thing actually works. Oh. Okay, so. And it's, whoa, there's nine volts right there course when I walk away. There's nine volts. And that's off. Alright. Oh, wait. 
We're still getting some voltage there? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe that knob is not right. That's a good sign. So, um, look at that. No one died. Tested. It's tested. Works. Uh, this is a crazy, crazy little contraption. And you can tell them to look at this video. Exactly. When you sell it because that light bulb might have just blown, but we saw it turn on. That thing works. 1920s Lester battery charger. Don't let it near your kids. Thanks for watching this testing with Portland Pickers. Oh, we're still recording. Awkward. Subscribe and follow if you like this face.